Okay, now moving on to significant figures with multiplication and division. Now the rule for multiplication and division is that we are going to use the least number of significant figures. Okay, so what you have to do is on this first one where we go 150 divided by 43, okay, the answer is going to be 3.48837. And it goes on in the calculator. But what we have to do is we have to look. Now, in 150, we have one, two sig figs. Okay, that zero doesn't count because it's a trailing zero and there's no decimal. And on 43, we have two because they're both non-zero digits. So this one's easy. The least number of decimal place, the least number of sig figs is going to be two. So in looking at this, all we do is we count off our first two significant figures, there's one, there's two, and we round to our second sig fig. Now does that eight round that four up? Yes it does, so we have 3.5 would be our correct answer. Now on the next one we have 455 times 23, okay, and our answer is going to be 10,465. Now if we look we have three sig figs right here and we have two sig figs right there, so our answer can only have two sig figs. So here's a significant figure, and here's a significant figure. Now, what we'll see is, does that four round the zero up? Okay, no, it doesn't. So the answer is going to be just 10,000. But what you'll see is, as I write this, I look, and that means I only have one sig fig. Well, I need two. So what I have to do to this number is I have to put it in scientific notation. So I move, 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 and I moved it 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I would get 1.0 times 10 to the 4th because it's larger than 1, so it's going to be positive. Okay? And if you look in this, I have 1, 2 sig figs. Okay? You would only put it in scientific notation if you ran into this problem. When you rounded, it didn't round where you had 2 sig figs.